Anyway, hey guys, um, right, I just wanted to, a quick little, uh, a quick little show of this, I'm going to show you uh, one that's working, and this is uh, how it should look when it's booting up, and if I just turn this light out for a second, I know it's going to be really dark, and this is basically what you're going to get as your waveform. Uh, just a little bit more that way, actually. Um, and that's good, you know. That's exactly how it's supposed to function. Um, that's not a problem. Not a problem at all. So let me just turn it off. And I got another one here as well. Um, this is for a project. And I'm just going to quickly just chuck these same things on here, just to show you on here. That's basically all I'm demonstrating. All I want to demonstrate is that this is how they should look. Um, there shouldn't really be any any great issues with these devices. Um, uh, when they boot up. We should have a waveform. But as you can see on this one. I was going to say we do not, but now we do. <coughs> and that's all good. Again, this is how we're supposed to see these. So, But now I've got one that even though it's been lovingly assembled, so as this. What did we do with that? What did we do with that? So here we go. We've got another one. But this one, I should have probably got this ready, but I wasn't actually going to do this. I just thought uh, it might have been a, a handy idea. This one here, yeah, I got a, I got a screen. Let's put this together. I've looked over this, looked over this, but to be fair, last night I gave it about not as much time as what I'm going to give it to look over it. And so this one, when we put this together. Lump, lump. I'll just chuck that on the on the hook there. Power the baby up. And yeah, we got a spring. Yeah, everything looks like it's okay. But this one, we get the line, but we don't actually get any any signal. It's almost like this switch may not be working we don't seem to be able to shift DC, AC or ground or maybe it is I mean it's it's working down here so then we could probably say that the signal's going okay for that so I'd put it back on AC but we don't get that's saying 60.42 volts there now I didn't notice on any of the others basically you don't get the, uh, the square wave and I'm just going to do a quick check now because this is going to have to be a um, basically learn how every part of it works and uh, and and troubleshoot and fix it. And you can't have it not working. And it's the first one of these, and I've done a few of these, just there uh, for a few people I know. And, and I'm just going to try and see if we get the 60 volts at the top. I know you may not have been able to see that, but it said 60 volts and. Uh, so if I put that and definitely at no stretch of the imagination um, does that go up to 60 volts at the top and that little bit of a uh, skewy there that was because my hand was underneath look underneath causing all sorts of mayhem um, but there's definitely not a 60 volt coming up at the top there like there was on that one that's not working correctly so I think that's where I'll start looking for that but that's for a that's for a video that will come in the next uh, next week or two and we'll do a proper look into that okay and now really what I was gonna start doing in this video is gonna be more based around one of these little kits this is a um, 
Well, it's a, it's a PIR sensor kit, and basically the uh, the sensor there will activate this relay-based circuit to enable me to operate something. Let's see if uh, I can do it so when I walk into the room where this is, it switches my lamp on, let's say. Um, and we're going to build this. But I'll do it on the next video, actually put it together, and we get it working. And if anyone's got any ideas about that DSO, about this, uh, this faulty unit, um, I'd be really interested in, uh, in their thoughts. Thank you.